Hey, this is Andrew here with Chemical Concepts. We're gonna do part two of, it, of a video we did the other day uh, with our ChemSet Trim Grip Adhesive. Uh, in the last video, we talked about some different cartridge sizes and we did some different joints and showed some destructive testing. Uh, this time, we're gonna show actually how to apply it. We're gonna show some miter joints, some scarf joints, and of course, we're gonna break stuff as well. So a lot of times people ask us, how do you use the cartridge? Uh, are they reusable? You know, what happens when the uh, tip cures? Can I use them again? How do I store them? So generally what we tell people to do is once you use the cartridge, the adhesive is going to set inside the mixing tip and then you can just leave it that way and store it. And then the adhesive is going to cure inside the tip and protect the material below, kind of act as a cap. So if you're getting ready to use a cartridge that's been used before, what, what we do first is take off the old mixing tip then we're gonna put it into our 400 milliliter dispenser. This is a 400 milliliter cartridge. So you do wanna make sure you're using the right dispenser for the gun. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get that ready to start dispensing. Now, before I put the new tip on, I'm gonna take a little mixing cup or even a scrap of cardboard or whatever and squeeze out. And you wanna see, you wanna ensure that both sides are dispensing evenly before you put a new tip on. If there's any kind of blockage, you wanna try and clear that first. So now I know materials flowing out of both sides of the cartridge. I'm going to put my new tip on. There's different kind of styles. This cartridge has a, uh, a threaded adapter, so we're just gonna thread a new tip on. And then I'm just gonna simply dispense a little bit into the cup, and then I can uh, mix this around for disposal. So now I'm, I'm ready to, to glue here. So you'll notice I'm gonna do a couple of joints. I have a, uh, a scarf joint and a miter joint that I have already prepped and taped. So I'm going to go ahead and dispense this here. I'll do this miter joint first. I'm gonna dispense a liberal amount of adhesive here. All right. And I've got this already taped, which makes it nice and easy. Try and do this slowly so you can see everything. All right, I'm gonna let that cure in order to fix it. In this particular case, I'm gonna just use some rubber bands. I have ready to go here. So we'll let that cure. Now I'm gonna do my scarf joint. Same application method. This adhesive is about a off the top of my head, I think it's about a 15 minute working time. So I've got about 15 minutes to put this together before I don't want to no longer want to disturb the adhesive as it's curing. After a certain point, the adhesive cross lengths and disturbing it after the working time is going to affect the overall performance of the joint afterwards. So here we saw this G tape. This G tape is great because it releases, it, it rips at perfect straight angles and it releases excellent from the adhesive. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on there. And then I'm gonna add a, a rubber band as well. So while I'm laying those two dry, I have these pieces right here. So these ones I did earlier. So you can see this is a completed miter joint. Hopefully you can see that in the video. You can see the color of the adhesive right there. It's a nice bright white, which matches most of this, the PVC material that's out there. I have an example here also. This one I didn't sand or anything, but this shows you the finished product as soon as it's done curing. That's a, a scarf joint. So in order to demonstrate the strength of the product, here I have this miter. I'm going to put this on the ground. I'm going to stand on it. Got that? There you go. So you can jump up and down on it. And then of course here, I'm gonna demonstrate uh, impact. So that showed you uh, some of the strength there. Here I'm gonna have a, I have a, this is what's called a lap joint. So people often use this material for lamination. Uh, let's just see what this will do here. So well, I didn't even get to use my big hammer, but as you can see, the material here exceeds the strength the adhesive exceeds, exceeds the strength of the material itself. Anyway, I hope you have found that interesting. Please contact us at 1-800-220-1966. Again, this is Andrew with Chemical Concepts. Thanks.